Hi, my name is Dennis Schrommel, Product Manager of HeatMyFloors.com. Recently, we provided a contractor training session on a revolutionary product called Step Warm Floor. We've broken down this video segment into three series for you to enjoy. Please call me if you have any questions. Thank you. The Radiant Market, this is an older slide, but kind of gives you an idea, and I'm sorry if I stick in your way, I'm going to be a walker here. Uh, this is an older slide taken through the Radiant Panel Association. Look at the, the housing starts here. Obviously, they're probably down in this range now, as we all can contest too, right? But the, uh, the, the hydronic really rules the market with Radiant Floor Heating. However, the electric, as you can see, is really got some steady growth going up. And this is an old thing, old slide in 07. And the reason electric is growing because of maybe some newer products. Um, uh, the remodeling business being pretty good uh, and somewhat new construction you see it in. But uh, one thing is that, you know, I think some of the electricians in the, in the crowd could probably agree that didn't you guys own the radiant market 20 years ago? Now, a lot of cable systems were being put in, a lot, of, a lot of cable systems, and they had problems with that cable systems years ago. And lo and behold, there came Wurzbow. I mean, they were around for many years, now Upinor, and they've really taken over the market. So the HVAC contractor has the market for hydronic and radiant floor heating. And then this is the product here that I think you're going to find that we can grab some of that market share back. And uh, we'll learn how, how to do that soon. So this may be uh, not new information for, uh, for some, but uh, basically electric systems are anything lower than 500 square feet. It's kind of the rule of thumb. Anything higher than 500 square feet it kind of tends to go to hydronic side because you got a boiler there size enough to do larger applications. So it's, it's, it helps to helps to lower the cost per square foot. Electric systems, though, are simpler to install. There's no pumps and controls, things like you do have with, uh, with hydronic systems. And also, they're easier, uh, easier to maintain. Virtually, there is no maintenance. Um, and low mass, high mass. I mean, both of them really, you could do hydronic, could be some of a lower mass type of system. And, and, uh, but electric's really a low mass system that could be put under a tile floor. Not a lot of heat medium built up in there versus a hydronic. But, also, um, I was thinking the other day, we did this presentation up in Brainerd, and I go, geez, I didn't put any slides in here on new construction for slab heating. And, and I will cover that, but think of this product that you can put in the concrete, just like you did cable years ago. So uh, we can handle those high mass systems. And that's what we're trying to do in this market, is find us new construction, high mass, new, new construction, put it right in the concrete. And I'll, I'll kind of give you a little snippet of that here as we get into the, uh, uh, the commercial uh, installations. Um, comfort, basically we gotta have comfort. That's, what, that's the selling thing for customers. People are wanting comfort. And if you look at radiant floor heating, if you're kind of new to it and, and, and you, know, you understand people are, are looking for that. And we wanna control that the rate that the manner is, that the heat is lost from the body and if we look at the curve here, we can see that an ideal trace is right here, and you'll follow that step warm floor follows exactly that ideal trace. And most radiant systems, will, you'll see that in comparison to the out of phase um, system with conventional heating. Now that would typically be, anybody, forced air? Forced air heating would be a problem with that. And uh, so, if we have a market for it, then we can meet our customers' expectations. And really, they're, they're asking, based on what we've asked or, asked or customers want with their heating system is comfort. They want reliability, simplicity. Uh, also want an easy to operate system. So we're gonna follow all lines of that. And of course, energy efficiency, and you're gonna learn why this product is so unique and energy efficient in comparison to uh, other pro products. Step warm floor. It's, uh, it's manufactured by Electro Industries in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. And it's been around since 1981 to heat automobile seats for Volvo. And what happened is that an invalid unfortunately perished in a car fire due by the car seats overheating. And Volvo came to Stefan Ergens, Stefan and Monica, and he was a fluid power engineer and he developed this technology 
that is used to uh, obviously heat radiant floor heating systems. Uh, step warm floor, it's kind of, you know, it would probably be nice to have just warm floor being the name, but step means self-regulating technology electroplastics is kind of how they come up with the step warm floor. The product is, it's proven. It's been around, uh, of course, a long time, but it's used hundred thousands of square feet throughout the world. Uh, but just give you a little snippet of what it can do. Obviously, radiant floor heating is where the market is for them, but it also is used to heat hospital beds. It's also used to heat um, jackets for the military. Uh, it also used to heat solar applications, and I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later. Uh, tugboats, in fact, one tugboat that goes up to the Arctic Circle has it in there to prevent icing of the tugboat. So just goes to show so many applications. How about roof melt? Uh, underneath with snow melt applications uh, in concrete outside. So a uh, wealth of, uh, uh, of uh, applications that it's going to do. But today we're going to pretty much focus with the, with the radiant floor heating side. And the product, and I'll, I'll pass out a couple samples, of course, this is just uh, part of it, but it's a flexible and durable thin mat. And I'll, I'll pass out, uh, it's 364 of an inch thick, so you can see that it's very very thin. You have the sample too in your packets as well. And if you also you're in your packets, I failed to mention that you have the presentation if you want to follow that in there and make some uh, notes. Um, but it's unique polymer that basically heats as electricity passes through it. It's, uh, it is, has the ability to self-regulate. And I'm going to really touch on self-regulation and what that means and what this makes this product so unique compared to other systems on the market. It's, uh, it's low voltage, so it's safe and uh, very energy efficient. And the reason it's more energy efficient partly is due to that self-regulation. So the mat, it's low voltage, 24 volt, AC or DC. So if we, uh, the transformer is going to be AC powered, of course, step downs, but you can also power it off of solar or wind sources at directly, DC. If you want to put it in your hunting shack or hunting in your blind, little 20, 224 volt batteries that you rob it out of the boat and you throw it up there in the hunting blind. It works. Uh, the product is unique and as you can see as you, your sample pack is that you can nail or staple through it without fear of failure. Nail or staple through it. The nail or staple just becomes part of the conductor. And one of the samples that you see going around that has a cut, I think I cut both of them. And if you look inside that, there is no filament that runs that you'd normally see in a cable application. No filament. No filament, no worry about overheating and failure. Self-regulating, I'm going to touch on this. We're going to skip this one here. Uh, no recorded failures of the element. Now that is huge, huge saying that if you install this right and you do not put it on mastics, adhesives, this Carbon, uh, it's carbon embedded plastic will last and outlast the two by fours in your home. They don't know how long it's gonna last. They put a good warranty on it, but carbon, as you, some of you may know, will last practically forever. Uh, some advantages, it draws only the energy required to heat. So if we had this element laid out here, uh, you get the element laid out here. If sun comes in and hits this portion of the element, this part of the element shuts down and reduces its energy. It doesn't shut down completely. We're just going to use less energy here. Versus down there where the sun is not hitting, that element will continue to work normally. It's all doing off the same portion of the element. Another way to look at it is if I had a, a uh, sun or uh, a heat lamp over the top of the element, where the heat lamp is hitting, the carbon in there will react and open up and will use less heat, less energy here, versus away from that spot, we'll continue to use more energy. So that's all the carbon that's in there. I'll touch, touch a little bit more of that in a few slides. Uh, you can install it closer to any other element. Uh, you know, it's right underneath the uh, heating system. So we're working under carpet, tile, wood. And think about the hardwood applications that are out there that you can nail right through the product. So we can come in with our hardwood, lay it down, boom nail right through without fear of failure. 